Okay, what I'm up to today is replacing, hopefully, the water impeller on my 25 horsepower Evinrude 1998. This is the three cylinder version, so I don't know if there are any similarities to the other models or not. I know that the 30 and the 25 that are both three cylinders are, are uh, very similar, so I'm guessing it's the same. I have not done this before, but I'm taking a guess here that water impeller in this case means taking off one, two, three times two, so six bolts that connect the leg to the foot. And I'm assuming this also has to be disconnected. Um, and I'm also assuming that once you disconnect this, as well as the six bolts, the foot should come right off. So we'll see if that's the case. I'm told that this, I just recently picked this motor up. I'm told that the CDIs on this are prone to failure and they typically fail because the water pump fails and then it generates a bunch of heat to the power head resulting in CDI failure. So the CDIs on these are really not cheap. So even though I seem to have great water pressure, I'm just not gonna take any chances. We'll see what we can do about replacing this impeller. The impeller kit was a ridiculous fortune. It was a hundred Canadian dollars. So I had the guy Paul at Claus Marine sell me just the impeller instead. That was 33 Canadian dollars. This is got a half inch. So it's a half inch. Eventually, if you hold the top, the bottom spins. There we go. Oh, there we go. Three eighths. Nope. Damn it. They're metric. All right, I'll be back. All right, I'm going to fast forward through Magic. this part, but basically it was a 10 millimeter. These are 10 millimeter heads and they're on, they're pretty tight and you need to be careful not to scratch the foot. So I did put a couple of scratches in by using the ratchet. I'd recommend you use a 10 millimeter spanner wrench and that way um, you won't run that risk and you'll still get the yes. leverage. All right, just went in the house to get a spanner. You can't get to those back two bolts with a, with a ratchet, so you do need a spanner wrench yeah. to get access and, and uh, leverage on those back two bolts. Crazy.
10 mil volts. the only thing I did need to take apart but you can see there's a little slit I have to take that little plastic piece off I think for this to be able to slide right off so I guess it's hard to see here but there's um there you go this comes right off I'll have to do that Now that you've taken that off, I believe this nut can slide right off. This will be interesting. There we go. That pops right off. This comes right off, allowing the whole lower unit to drop. I left one bolt in there, so once I got the shifter nut loose, I loosened that last bolt, and here's what happens. It's gonna come off. Voila. You may have heard that brass nut drop to the ground because it does fall off when you pull the foot away from the leg, so do not lose that. Okay, three eighths. This can come, I think this can come off. There's nothing else here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six. I'm just replacing the impeller. That's cool. Okay. It's right off. Inside is the water impeller. Okay, the new one looks the same. Strange oblong. Okay. This oblong opening obviously faces the bottom. Let's put some grease on the end of this. The grease on the end of each pallet just to help it along in the first few spins. Just a, not too much here, don't overdo it. There we go. And then the trick for retaining this in place. Put some grease on this. Slip this, oh, interesting. It actually has an orientation. So, hard to see that, but one side is, huh, okay. So it looks to me like this is the way it goes. Like that. So. fat end facing down. Flat piece is going to face down like so. That's going to allow you to put your impeller in. There we go. Okay. That looks correct. So we'll 
put that on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get on there. No. Let's see if I can figure this out. Uh, how do I know? Two notches go to the front. Good. This goes here. Like this. And like that. Good. Oh, but I don't pull on that. Alright, we're good. Oh, this will be interesting. Alright. This goes here, I gather. Hard to do that after. There we go. This one. The ball's back on.
and you should be able to slide this back up, slide this back down, squeeze this together, and you're all done. Okay. Voila. Half inch? Did I use the half incher? Oh yeah, I did. Look at that. Okay, well, half inch up top, half inch 13 mil on the bottom, whatever. Mm -hmm. There's not much space in here. Honest to God. If you do it diagonally, diagonally kind of helps. Yeah, got it. And it's tight. Uh, like that. I didn't like that. Same on the other side, except at the top. And then screw it in. Just plastic, so it'd be gentle, but that's basically it.